I'd say I'm pretty frugal compared to most people. I use coupons when I can find them. I usually buy things that are on sale and I use tissues four times before throwing them out. Just kidding, that'd be gross. I only use them three times. That being said, even though I try to keep my expenses low, I still spend a decent amount. Bigger cities tend to have a higher cost of living and Vancouver is no exception. And by the way, this is not a budgeting video. This is just how much I spend in a week in Vancouver at 22. Let's take a look. Welcome to my apartment. It only makes sense we start with the recurring expenses that I have to pay every month that I cannot avoid. My rent is $1,050 per month, which honestly is kind of a steal. To be honest, I'm, I'm happy paying that here. Full tour coming soon, which breaks down to $262.50 per week. Utilities are around $50 a month. And by the way, I split all the housing costs with my roommate. So per week, that $50 breaks down into $6 a week. Wi-Fi is $90 a month, which split up again is $11.25. Phone bill is $21 per week. My website is $5 per week. And my car insurance is $80 per week. And that one kind of hurts, but I like having a car, so I'm not complaining. Which means we are starting off the week already knowing that we will spend $381. And we are only gonna be adding to that. Good morning, today is Monday and it is the first day of this video. Ignore this stuff in the background. I was filming another video. Anyways, today's Monday, right? And I've already got one planned purchase on our first day, so I know I'm gonna spend some money today. And that is on a new chair. As you can see here, this chair does not really work with the living room, but I want an accent chair here, not like a dining chair. I'm sorry, chair, it's not gonna work out. And I did end up finding a chair from Wazo Furniture, which I'd never heard of before, but I found this chair, which I think is pretty cool, and that was $211.73. Furniture isn't really a normal weekly expense. Like, we just bought that chair. Right now, since I just moved in here, honestly, it is kind of normal because I'm buying furniture like once a week, but I don't think I'm spending money for the rest of the day, so that's good at least. And I was very right in saying that I wasn't gonna spend anything else because I don't even think I left the apartment that day. So, you know, that's one way to save money is to just stay at home and not do anything. Meaning our total for day one on Monday was $211.73. Today is Monday, no, today is Tuesday, and today me and my girlfriend are going to Whistler for a trip. So it is pretty much inevitable that we will spend some type of money, so I guess we'll see how much. <laughs> I was very right with that statement. I did end up spending money. I bought a card and flowers on the way to Whistler. The card was $7, $6.99, and the flowers were $10. When did cards get so expensive though? Like actually, it wasn't even for a real birthday. It was just a joke, but nonetheless, it was still $7, but <laughs> I didn't realize it was that expensive at first. And then we stopped for brunch, which was actually kind of expensive. Just kidding. My girlfriend bought it for me, hashtag stocks. And then we played a little golf, which was actually kind of expensive. Just kidding, my friend was working, so that was also free. But something that was not free was when we had to stop at the gas station and I filled up the truck, which was $125.27. I wish my girlfriend paid for that one. I also bought an energy drink at the gas station because I was about to fall asleep. And as you can see here, I did a celebratory broom dance inside the gas station. We also went to a party that night in Whistler, so we bought some drinks and that was $25.49. What'd you buy? White claws, because I'm basic as hell. Meaning our spending on Tuesday totaled to $169.90. Not great, but that is an improvement from Monday. So there's that <laughs> at least. So Wednesday, I did a lot of work, hashtag grind, hashtag motivational YouTuber. But yeah, I probably sat at my desk for like over 10 hours and I didn't leave my apartment at all. So I didn't have many opportunities to spend any money. Like I said, if you just stay home and don't do anything, you won't spend money. I also spent some time updating my moving to Vancouver guide and then putting it back up on my website. It was just a work day, meaning that our total for Wednesday was zero dollars. And speaking of websites really quick, let me tell you guys about today's video sponsor, Zyro. Zyro is a fast, powerful, and easy to use web builder. And that means no coding or website experience required. If you're creative like me, then you know how important it is to have a website nowadays. You know, we need somewhere to share our work and also sell our work if we're selling stuff. And with Zyro, you can have a fully functioning website ready to go in just a few minutes for less than $3 a month. They've also got a 30 day money back guarantee if it's not for you and 24 seven live human support. That means no robots, just people. There are not many things that anger me in life. I'm not gonna lie, but those chat robots, they are one of them. 
for sure. Zyro also has a ton of templates for your website, which means even if you're not a designer or someone who makes things very well, then you know you can still have a professional and great looking website. If you're interested in Zyro and wanna check it out, remember, money back guarantee, then make sure to use the code ADAM to get 72% off any yearly plan as well as three months free. Or you can use the link below. Okay, it's Thursday morning. I'm about to go tour an apartment building for a video. You may have seen this video already. I think I'm gonna post that one first. But I don't have time to eat breakfast. I'm kind of already late. I shouldn't even be doing this. But that means I know I'm probably gonna buy something on my on my way home. So we'll see. Oh, and one thing, I have multiple of this shirt. Okay, I know I know some people are like, this guy's just wearing the same shirt every day. Kinda, but no, I have I have a few of these ones, so don't worry, I'm not wearing the same shirt every day, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I remember how hungry I was throughout that tour. I was like not being able to interact properly, like socially, you know what I mean? I almost broke a table in that tour. Like, I mean, you can watch the video if you wanna see what I'm talking about, but uh, I ended up getting food immediately after that because I was just not feeling good. So I got sushi and that was $13.91. And as you can see by the look on my face, I thought that was a little bit expensive. It is what it is and it was still good. Thursday was also the day I did my grocery shopping, which I usually go like once every two weeks because I try to avoid it as much as humanly possible. But I had to go because me and my girlfriend were planning to cook something that night, which we did. I spent around $230 for the next two weeks of groceries. And you may be wondering how we're like watching a movie if I don't have Netflix or cable, cause I didn't mention that. And that's because I illegally use my sister's account. Don't tell her. And that was all for Thursday, which brought our total to $243.91, which is our most expensive day so far. On Friday, I went to pick up this box shelf that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And now it's right there on my wall. This, this, this hanging thing. Right there, 40 bucks. I thought it was pretty cool and I have nothing on my walls yet, so it works. So it is still Friday and I was just about to go get a haircut and spend, you know, like 20, $30, whatever it was. And then I realized I'm in the middle of shooting a full video for the channel. I'm showing two apartments in that video. And in the first apartment, my hair is long. And if I got a haircut now before I see the second apartment, my hair would be shorter. So it kind of just be like this. Did this guy just get a haircut in between going from one apartment to the next? I'm putting my haircut later. You know, I'm putting the video before my own well-being, okay? I'm making a sacrifice, massive sacrifice, I know. And so our Friday total was just $40 because I only bought that box shelf, that was it. On Saturday, me and girlfriend went to the PNE, which is like a big carnival type attraction with like rides and games and food and like animals. I spent like $30 on games cause I was trying to win my girlfriend a teddy bear that I would later then just steal when she's not looking, but I couldn't even do that. I was hoping to take some more videos, but my phone died. So I only have a few photos and stuff, kind of unfortunate, but you should check it out if you're in the area. And later on we played basketball, which was of course free on the public courts. There's leagues you can join in Vancouver or like courts you can rent out or like drop in sessions, but all of them are honestly quite expensive and they're literally booked like months and months in advance. So I just stick to the outdoor courts because they're free and 1v1ing my girlfriend because she's pretty much Steph Curry. Saturday's total was $90 all spent at the P&E on games, food, and parking. Sunday morning, I left to get my passport renewed downtown Vancouver and that was pretty much the only like thing I had to do outside of my apartment that day. So honestly, I was feeling pretty good. Like I was going to spend $0, but that did not last long because when I got there, it was $160 for the passport renewal, which like, that's fine. I just didn't realize that it would cost that much or anything <laughs> to be honest. So, you know, a surprise 160 for you. And again, Sunday was like another work editing day. So I kind of just chilled at my desk and I did not spend any more money. I just added everything up, here we go. So at the end of the week, adding all my purchases together, I spent $875.54. And if we add that to my recurring expenses from the beginning, which were $381, then this week I spent $1,256.54, which is honestly a lot. I don't even feel like I bought or did that many things, which is kind of sad because it costs a lot. <laughs> but also keep in mind there were things in here that are not like typical in a normal week for sure. Like you only have to get your passport renewed in Canada every 10 years. And it just happened to be like this week that I did that. Same with buying furniture. That's not like a normal occurrence. But also since I know like some people click this video, probably not just for me, 
which is kind of sad. Come on guys. They clicked it to learn about how much it would cost to actually live here. So really quick, I did one more calculation where I take out the expenses like furniture and the passport. I also took car insurance out of this calculation. And so excluding the unordinary purchases, I would have spent around $550 this week. And that includes the recurring expenses. You can definitely do better than me. When I made less money, I would not spend that much money. It's possible to live off less. I'm just someone now who believes like, money should be spent on experiences and things that make you know put a smile on your face or other people's face i mean i spent seven dollars on a birthday card and it wasn't even my friend's birthday but i wouldn't take it back because it was funny and i got a laugh out of it leave me a comment if you have any questions about this video or vancouver as a whole and that's it for this one so i will see you guys next week